Okay, time to take a look at the Rockby Arduino R4 Wi-Fi kit. So we got our instructions. We got a USB-A to USB-C cable. And that's one of the nice things about this R4 is it actually has a USB-C port to plug into it. We also have a USB-A to power adapter. We got a whole bunch of accessories. So we got a bunch of jumper wires. We got male to male and we got male to female. We got a ring light. That's pretty cool. I have not seen one of these things come with an Arduino. We got a bunch of push buttons and they got little caps for them too. Pretty cool. We got a bunch of resistors and it says that they are all 220R. They're also labeled on the tape. This is kind of cool. This actually comes with a light bar. That is pretty neat. We got a DC motor and we have a fan for the motor. It has nice soft blades. Oh, that's neat. We got a touch sensor. We have a five volt relay, it calls this relay module V2. I like how everything on here is labeled. So I've got a sound module V2. In VCC ground, everything on here is labeled. And one of my favorites, we got an ultrasonic sensor. Very nice. So we got a ton of accessories. We also got a breadboard. So these things are excellent for prototyping circuits. It does have a double stick padded backing. So if we want to, we can stick that onto something. And it looks like these are also capable of interlocking. So they got those dovetails on there. We got our positive and negative rails on both sides, and we got our terminal strips in the middle. But most importantly, this is our Arduino R4 with Wi-Fi. Now, the neat thing about this one is that this is an official Arduino. So this is an Arduino brand Arduino. Most of the ones that you see are going to be kind of off-brand. This one is actually supporting the creator of the Arduino. So we can take a look at the specs. We can see at the top, it is a Wi-Fi board with Bluetooth as well. 48 megahertz chip, 32 kilobytes of RAM, 256 kilobytes for code on the flash drive. So very good specs for an Arduino. So there is the Arduino. It actually comes with a case. So we can mount this directly to a metal case. We don't have to worry about that thing making contact and shorting anything out. And it even has venting right here on the bottom. Something that makes this one stand out is this 12 by 8 red LED matrix. So you don't normally see these things on Arduinos, but if you want to put out information on the Arduino itself, something that you can read, if you want to find faults or just find out if these pins are supposed to have power, you can put that information right here on the Arduino. So awesome having that. And we can see right there the Espressive S3 Wi-Fi module. And we've got our quick I2C connector right there so if you got some components that have that you can actually plug that directly into this arduino you can also see our usb-c plug right there i personally love usb-c just because it doesn't matter which way you plug it in either way it's going to go in i don't have to fight the thing so i love that they made that upgrade but everything else on here should be pretty familiar got a reset we got everything well labeled and these things are just awesome That's pretty cool. So the default sketch kind of shows off the LEDs, which is actually kind of nice. You can see, make sure that they're all working. So this is one of my favorite things about the Arduino is I just looked up traffic light Arduino and I found multiple examples of ways that you could build a sketch for it. So there is a ton of support for the Arduino. Basically anything you want to build, probably already out there or at least an example that you can start with so that you can build the design that you're actually looking for. The Arduino community is second to none when it comes to automation or just like, you know, building things. So for their example, they use the ground nine, eight, and seven. And it picked up the R4 right away, which is great. So all we gotta do is plug it in and then install it. So in their sketch, I'm just gonna copy that, go right into the environment and paste it. And let's see what we get. And that is running. So yeah, it works right out of the box. The thing you probably notice is that if you live in the US, the yellow is not working the way that we always expect it to. This is the way that it actually works in a lot of other countries. So we can actually modify the code and it's not that difficult. And so right here, it's starting on the red, then it's doing the yellow and it's flashing. So it's on, off, on, off. And then we got the time. So 15,000 is 15,000 milliseconds. So that means this is gonna stay red for 15 seconds. So let's bring that down to five seconds and we will remove the yellow blinks before it goes green. There was five yellow blinks. So as you can go right from red to green, which is how we expect that in the US. We'll make the green six seconds instead of 20 seconds. I kind of like the yellow blinking, so we'll keep that, but instead of blinking five times, so we got one, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and have that blink three times. All right, so let's see what that looks like.
Pretty cool. So yeah, even if you don't know anything about programming, this is still a very easy thing to manipulate. On top of that, just with the support from the community, like people have been running around with Arduinos for a long time and they're doing it for free. They're just doing it just because they enjoy it. Especially because this has a Wi-Fi module, you can connect this directly to your phone, you can make an app for it, you can do home automation, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this. So Arduinos are awesome and this is a very cool kit.